Hey guys, uh, Gunner here. Just going to be doing a quick review of the 2011 uh, 11.6 inch MacBook Air. This is the 1199 model. Uh, it does come with a 11.6 inch screen with a resolution of 1366 by 768. It comes with the 128 gigabyte SSD drive, uh, 4 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Uh, 1.6 gigahertz dual core uh, core i5 processor this is the second generation it also it's also known as the sandy bridge chip it comes with the intel 3000 graphics processor with 384 uh, megabytes of shared ddr3 ram uh, i'll start by showing you all the ports and stuff on the macbook air all right so Let's just close her up here. Uh, on the right side of the MacBook Air, you get the Thunderbolt port. You get the USB 2.0. Nothing on the front. On the left side, you get a MagSafe connector, your power connector. USB 2.0. Headphone jack and a microphone. You get nothing on the back. This is the, uh, the vent for the... Uh, the fan and stuff on the bottom it vents through the uh, bottom of the laptop uh, on the bottom you get your four feet I do have a uh, a custom uh, carbon fiber skin on here it does not come stock with the laptop all right that's this is one thing I like about MacBooks you don't need to hold the bottom of your laptop when you're opening up your screen all you do is you just put a finger on the bottom just lift it up. The hinge is so smooth that you don't need to hold the bottom. All right, so you first of all, you get a really nice glass trackpad on the bottom compared to uh, like Windows laptops and stuff. It's just so much better. Uh, I used to be a Windows user. Uh, I've switched to Mac about six months ago, and I don't think I'll be turning back to uh, Windows. So. Let's just talk about the new features of the MacBook Air. Uh, first of all, you do get the uh, backlit keyboard, which uh, is really nice. It used to be available on the uh, first generation MacBook Air, but Apple decided to take it out for some reason, probably for a cost. And well, due to a lot of complaints, uh, they brought it back. Uh, not, I don't use it very often, but I like that it's there. If it's dark in the room, I can turn it on a little bit, and it's a little easier to type and stuff. Um, two things about the new MacBook Air, if you buy it. Uh, there has been some complaints about people for the screen. There is two types of screen you can get. One is uh, LG manufactured screen, and the other one is a Samsung manufactured screen. Apparently, a lot of people with the LG manufactured screen have been complaining of, uh, of the quality and stuff. I don't have this problem. I have the Samsung screen on my MacBook Air, so um, I have no complaints about the screen. The screen is bright. The screen is uh, really, really nice. Anyways, um, another thing too, there is two types of uh, SSD solid state drives that you can get in these. One is made by Toshiba, one is made by Samsung. The Samsung SSD is a little bit faster than the Toshiba, but in real world performance, you're not going to see any difference. I do have the, the slower Toshiba uh, drive in this one, and I mean, it's, I can't imagine it being any faster. I mean, it's, everything just opens instantly, so. Um, Let's go ahead and open up a, a few programs here to show you just how fast it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Microsoft Word 2011. And there we go, like it's open. Uh, let's open iMovies. There we go, iMovies open. Um, it's there's, there's absolutely no slowdowns. I haven't had any problems with it at all I did have the core 2 duo model the uh, the model before this one and I found it to be quite slow especially when watching like flash videos and stuff online it would stutter and it just wasn't good and this new MacBook Air 
seems to have fixed that problem. Um, let's just uh, open up the uh, the web here and see uh, if I can show you how fast it is. Uh, all right, let's go to the Engadget site. And here we go. It's all loaded. Uh, you can scroll with two fingers. Um, <clears throat> OS X line comes with a bunch of new gestures for the trackpad. I don't know them all yet, but I know that uh, there's quite a bit of uh, gestures that you can do. And I'm new to all these gesture stuff, so I don't I don't know them all. Uh, so yeah, uh, battery life, uh, yeah, it could be better. Uh, I'm getting about four hours, give or take, depending on what I do. Uh, it's decent, but I've seen a lot better. Uh, but I mean, judging by the thickness of the laptop, they're, they can't put much battery in there. So, I mean, it, you're, it's give or take, right? You either go to a bigger laptop and get a better battery life. Or you go to a smaller laptop and you get a little bit worse battery life. So it's your your decision. So yeah, this like I said, uh, everything has been great, and I will give this laptop a nine out of ten. It's uh, the only reason why I'm not giving it a ten on ten is because it's quite expensive. Uh, not everybody can afford buying one. So uh, so yeah, this was uh, Gunner for the review of the 2011 11.6 inch MacBook Air. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up my video. Thank you.